morning guys and welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here my name is crystal and welcome to my channel i am doing another day in the life of a paralegal vlog i was like let me start bright and early for you guys it's been at least six or seven months since i did this last time um, so yeah, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Please do not forget to subscribe. I recently hit 2,000 subscribers on the road to three now. So I really appreciate the continuous love and support from all of you guys. So here's another paralegal video. I'm going to take my retainers out. I literally just, just woke up. Like, haven't did my hair, brushed my teeth, washed my face. I'm doing a full day in the life of a paralegal vlog. So I hope you guys all enjoy. Give me all of you in exchange for me. So I am done with my hair, my skin routine. I'm looking super glowy today. Um, I think I'm gonna do a skincare routine next. I know I've kind of been staying away from like the lifestyle content and I've just been doing um, like paralegal and true crime content, but let me know if you guys want me to bring the lifestyle content back. Um, if I have like a little cast, it's from the sunscreen. It's like Curality sunscreen. So it takes about 10 minutes to like set into my skin. So that should go away soon. But I'm done with my hair and my makeup. I really don't wear makeup to work i'm gonna go pick out my clothes now and it's so funny because in my last day in life paralegal vlog someone commented like they can give two f's about what i'm wearing and my like morning routine but honestly i'm a paralegal i'm an off-duty paralegal right now but i'm a paralegal so i'm gonna show you guys um like whatever i won't show you guys me getting dressed or whatever i'll just like show you guys my outfit then i guess since y'all don't want to see the whole morning process <laughs> okay guys this is the fit today just went with plain and simple all black this top is an h&m long sleeve black top this blazer i think is like h&m a couple of years ago these pants don't even ask these pants are probably like fashion nova like seven years ago and then these little boots i think are like aldo a couple of years ago excuse my little thing i was like mopping yesterday but yeah so this is the fit i just went super simple and today is wednesday i don't know if i said that so happy wednesday and then i'm still making my matcha i don't do it every day i probably do it like twice a week but yeah i packed my lunch packed all my work bag you guys have already seen this because um i think this was in one of my paralegal videos i think i actually did a separate one of like what's in my work bag i haven't changed anything everything is still the same my work bag what's in there i'm only taking breakfast today um because i want to eat lunch at work so yeah that's pretty much it let's go ahead and head out the door i don't eat my breakfast at home anymore because i'm not hungry when i wake up so i just drink some water take my vitamins and then take my matcha and then i'll eat my breakfast at my desk so i'll catch you guys um at work okay guys so i thought it'd just be best to do like a voiceover part for this portion of the video just to like make it easier i wasn't gonna be like talking in my office but anyways when i come in i always take all my stuff out of my bag I think I've mentioned this before but my computer setup isn't really a computer like it doesn't have a brain my laptop is the brain of my computer so if I unfortunately forget my computer at home one day then I have to go back and get it because it controls my entire computer so as you guys can see I just like took out my breakfast my water the first thing I do is pull out my hand calendar and I compare it to my work calendar I pull that up as well and I just make sure all my meetings are lined up and you know just basically getting my day in order pretty much so this is my lovely breakfast that I meal prep I meal prep breakfast and lunch for the week it's just honestly so much easier and then I'll like take snacks like oranges or you know some type of fruit some chips or whatever but my meal prep consists of this yogurt blueberries strawberries and granola so now i am logged in and the first thing i do i'm gonna kind of blur this out because i didn't realize you can actually like really read the words on my screen but the first thing i do when i come in is open my chart i've mentioned this in a lot of my videos and i want to say in my last paralegal q a i actually kind of showed you guys like a sample of a chart obviously everybody's chart will be different 
mine obviously is tailored to the type of work that I do um, so if you can kind of like see some highlights or like some different colors I create my own key to my chart and again this is my personal chart no one else has access to it but if I do need to like leave or take a leave of absence you know I can easily just send this chart to somebody and they will know the status of each agreement or basically anything I'm working on so like red is like either I'm waiting for somebody to answer a question green typically means it's out for signature if it's grayed out that means it's completed and on my last column it's a notes column so if there are notes like waiting for so-and-so to respond back to my email sent on 12 14 so it's even like dated like I go really really into detail in my notes column just because I don't ever want to be confused or if I'm asked for something on the spot it's just so much easier to just pull up my chart and search within my chart and that I that way I have everything in one place instead of going to my email thread trying to find my email thread try to find where we left off try to you know it just gets too complicated so yeah that's pretty much the first thing I do and then from there I open my DocuSign because that is a program we use to send things out for signature and I just go ahead and resend things that I've already sent because sometimes it takes people a while and I know it can get lost in people's emails so I've just learned that if I just send it once in the morning and once in the evening I'm more likely going to get the document signed quicker and then if not um, if it's been like a couple of days, I'll typically go to go to the email thread and just ping the person and just say, hey, you know, this is still waiting for a signature. Just want to let you know. Um, and then after that, it's pretty much signed. So next, I opened up my Zoom because I had a shareholder meeting. Well, not really like a meeting, I guess, or I guess you could say like a shareholder town hall. Um, Per se so I whipped out my notebook as I do every single time I have a meeting if I take notes if I don't take notes regardless of it I will always put the title of the meeting so this day I probably wrote shareholder I wrote the date and the time of the meeting and then I switch pins to another color I know I'm crazy OCD I like to have my titles in different colors um, and yeah I just jot down any notes or anything that may have been important in the meeting and then if there wasn't then I'll just simply put you know nothing like I'll make a mark because if I just have a title and I don't have anything I'll be like wait where did, did I disappear during the meeting so I just always like to be transparent like I always think of it and say like if I have amnesia in my sleep and I wake up and I go to work I want to know exactly where I left off I don't want to like have any questions I want to just pick up exactly where I left off and so these are just kind of things that I've picked up um, along the way to do to help me do that basically <laughs> So while the meeting was going on, I had my second screen up and I think here I was just pretty much sending things out for a signature. Um, the thing about working for a company so big like mine is that there are so many people so many names and there is a place thankfully that we can go to to do a worldwide i guess not world but company-wide search so i literally have that tab like saved on my screen because i'm every other second i'm looking up somebody to see what their position is what their email address is how to correctly spell their first and last name um things of that nature another thing i've also gotten in the habit of doing is every time i do an action it needs to be jotted down in my email like there needs to be an email sent in regards to it or a note made in my chart so if i'm basically sending this document out for signature i need to immediately go to my chart make that row green say the date i sent it out for signature then i go to my email and i let everyone know that hey this document is now out for signature um yeah <laughs> so that's pretty much kind of like my morning and how it starts obviously each day it changes depending on if i have like meeting so now i'm headed over to the break room to grab some water stretch my legs and grab a little snack as well guys so a little quick update it is a 12 o'clock now well about to be 12 and i have my next meeting so i'm going to head to the conference room now 
So now it is time for another meeting, but this meeting is actually in person, not on Zoom. So now that the meeting is over, you see me walk to my little desk. And honestly, after around like 12, 31 o'clock, I always stand my desk up. And honestly, I never, one, I've never had a standing desk. But now that I have it, I couldn't imagine my life without it because I cannot see myself sitting for eight hours a day. Like that is just crazy. So I most likely I stand for about like four hours a day. So at least half my day i'm standing along with standing i'll do like a few stretches and stuff here and there and sometimes i also take a walk i've mentioned this in my other paralegal videos before but making sure you take like a little eye break whether it be going to the break room to wash your breakfast dish as i'm doing right now or whether it be just to like go fill up your water bottle i always try to like make sure at least every couple hours i'm taking an eye break those are very very important so on this day i actually left the office a little bit earlier than usual and you'll see why soon but i pulled out my calendar again because i like to pull it out in the beginning of the day and at the end of the day in the beginning of the day to see what i have for that day and then the end of the day to see what maybe i didn't finish that day so i can move it over to the next day and then also to plan like my meetings or anything else for the following day some people may think this is like too much calendaring i don't know to each its own like i said i use a hand one and ele and an electronic one and my hand one obviously is like for personal and work life but my electronic one is only for work um but i think it comes in handy let me know what you guys think down below so i am heading out now and i am walking over to our studio lot i'm pretty sure you guys have seen this in my previous paralegal videos but i am going to jump on camera pretty soon to catch you guys up and let you guys know what's going on for the rest of the day hey guys so i feel like this is my first time actually Sorry, I'm not sure if I'm blurry or not, but I feel like this is my first time um, actually talking to the camera. I just hiked it over here to our, um, our studio lot. And so basically, okay, so right now I'm like trying to give you guys what it's like. So right now it's 222, 222. Um, it's 222. This is my little sparkling lime water. I didn't drink it at my desk because I wanted some ice and I knew I was going to get a cup of ice at the cafeteria. So I came over here because I didn't bring my lunch today and um, the cafeteria closes at 2.30. So I booked it over here. I just barely made it with like 15 minutes to spare and I just got a little salad. It looks boring, but I got um, lettuce. I mixed the lettuce with like romaine and iceberg. No, romaine and spinach, I'm lying. Um, and then I got chicken. I got tomatoes, cucumbers, eggs, and croutons. And then for my dressing, I got, I always get to always get Caesar and balsamic like vinegar. So bomb. I don't know if I'm blurry or not. So sorry if I am. But yeah, so... Um, yeah, basically my office, it's like, it fluctuates. It gets like quiet and then it gets like loud. So I thought it'd be best to just do like a voiceover for that part. So basically that's like what you guys have just seen. And so now I'm going to the screening of The First Omen. I don't know if you guys have heard of that movie, but it actually comes out, I want to say in two weeks i want to say towards the end of april so we get to watch it they're showing it to like all the employees they have multiple screenings and i was like i'm gonna just go to the um to the three o'clock one because i had a 12 o'clock meeting today and the first screening was at 12. <clears throat> so yeah i was like let me go over here sorry guys i'm out of breath it's not that far from like my office our main lot it's like a block and a half if that but the sun was out and I'm wearing heels today and I was walking super fast because I wanted to catch them before they closed. So yeah, you guys have just been seeing what I've been doing so far. I'm over at the lot now. People work here as well. There's like offices over here. Um, 
as well, not just like our theaters and like, um, you know, like screening places. And it's like actually the office is over here too, but my team doesn't work over here. <laughs> but it's not far, so it's not bad at all. So yeah, I'm going to go watch the screening of the movie. I think I wanna stop at Starbucks to get like an espresso shot before, cause the movie's like an hour and 45 minutes and I'm not tired, but I wanna like make sure I'm awake. So yeah, I'm basically gonna finish my lunch and then I will talk to you guys later. Of course, I won't be able to like show the movie, but yeah, we'll see where the rest of this day takes us. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Um, I'm trying to record as much as possible. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, anything, just leave them down below and we can chat. So I'm gonna hurry up and scarf this down my throat so I can walk over to the theater and watch the movie. Talk to you guys later. Okay guys, I am headed over to the theater. I just passed one, but that's not the one that they're having, that they're showing the film at. I'm stuffed. That was like the fastest I've ever eaten. <laughs> I'm still debating if I'm gonna get the espresso, but we'll see how busy Starbucks is. Ooh. It's like on the first floor of the building, so we'll see how busy it is when I get over there. I should be over there in like five minutes. Maybe like four. <laughs> Walking back to my main office now. I'm on the street, so if it's hard to hear me, I'm so sorry. The movie was, I went to the restroom after, so I was like trying to think of what rating I would give it. I'm not a huge like horror person, and I'm also not into movies that are like super sat satanic or like devilish, or you know, things of that nature. But I would give it, <laughs> I say a 6 out of 10 for now, but if you guys have seen the movie, it actually comes out in two days, so I doubt I'm going to get this video up in two days. Um, so if you guys have seen the movie, then please comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know you guys' like ratings. It was a bit not gory. I'm definitely got a, glad I ate before because I have no appetite now. There were a little bit of like <laughs> scenes that I wasn't too fond of, but anyways, I'm walking so fast and I'm out of breath. Not even sure you guys can hear me but um yeah it's five i was gonna go back up in my office but i honestly don't see a point so gee the sun is so bright so i'm probably just going to head home now i would say my day is over but i literally got like 40 emails while i was watching the movie 
I was gonna go up, like I said, in my office and respond to them, but I think I'm just gonna head home and maybe work for about 30 more minutes from home. Um, but yeah. Hey guys, so I wanted to come back on camera just to like officially close out the video. I actually, when I walked back to my office, I ended up staying for a bit to respond to a couple of emails and just kind of finish off the day. My intentions weren't to go back up, but like I said, when I was at the screening watching the first Omen, I got a lot of emails and I just didn't want to have to like sift through them all tomorrow because every day that just, it's something new. Um, so yeah, it's about almost 7 o'clock. It's 6.57, almost 7, so I stayed for about 45 minutes, not too long. So that is my day in the life of a paralegal. If you guys have any questions or comments on anything that you saw in today's video, then please leave it down below. Also, continue to leave me questions or suggestions for new paralegal videos that you guys think I should do. Like I said, a couple of paralegal videos ago, I'm trying to get these up every Friday or at least once a week. And I can continue to do that if you guys keep giving me like things to talk about because I draw blanks sometimes and I'm like sometimes I think that you guys probably already saw it or you guys like don't have any questions on it and you guys probably do so um, let me know it could be something that I'm not educated on also and I could educate myself by asking my peers by asking other attorneys by you know researching so I'm always down to do that as well so thank you guys again for clicking on another paralegal video this was a day in the life of a paralegal I hope you guys all enjoyed it and I hope to see you guys here next week for another paralegal video bye Money all around me I look like I'm the man